Well, Mike Brown, um, Quinns are on top of the Premiership. England uh, two from two with France at home this weekend. So I imagine you're enjoying your rugby at the moment. Yeah, definitely. Um, club going well, um, even without the England boys, which is nice to see. Um, was at the Leicester game, um, screaming from the from the terraces. So yeah, it's great to see the boys doing so well. And yeah, England are going well as well. But we've got a massive test this weekend, um, and we'll be focusing on that. Yes, indeed. Well, you've uh, you're full back at the club, of course. You've become a regular starter on the left wing for England. Your left boot offering options there. But I know you did some work with uh, Margot Wells some time ago. I wondered if you uh, were sort of keenly keeping up the sprint work now that it seems Stuart Lancaster's keen on you playing that role on the wing. Yeah, definitely. I, I've continued to see her um, over the last few years. Um, see her as much as I can during the week, um, depending on how training's been and how tough it's been. Um, but yeah, it's not just speed, it's power, um, strength as well in the gym with her. So, so it's all, all round physical physical side of my game. And you're consistently seeing an improvement there, I'm, I'm assuming then? Yeah, definitely. She's always trying to push me to, to get better. Um, it's, it's obviously hard when you've got games coming thick and fast. Um, so you just try and maintain it sometimes. But yeah, she's always trying to push me to, to, to get better and get faster and power, more powerful. So that's good. Great stuff. Well, France have made eight changes. Um, Uge, Vincent Clerc and uh, Benjamin Fall remain as their back three. Clerc likes coming off his wing. I think uh, you'll be marking him positionally, sort of defensively. How similar or different is it defending in that wing position as opposed to fullback? It's slightly different because um, you're always on the end of the defensive line. Um, you have to th- obviously, you have to think about it a bit more because I'm used to playing fullback. But as a fullback, you used to sort of marshal in the back three, so you sort of know where, where the wings are supposed to be because you, you're supposed to be talking to them and getting them to, to do what you want to do. So I have a slight knowledge and um, it's getting better. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's been good so far. Um, Vance and Clerk's a world-class player, so that'll be, be tough. But, you know, one I'm massively looking forward to. Um, enjoy playing against Corey James, probably one of the best wingers in the world. And Clerk's definitely up there as well, so, so it'll be a, be a good day. Yes, indeed. And uh, the French, they've been incredibly inconsistent. Does that make it a slightly harder task, knowing what to expect on Saturday? Um, yeah, it's going to be a, a massive, massive test, massive game. Like I've said before, uh, they're a brilliant team. On their day, they can beat anyone. Um, obviously, the last two games hasn't, haven't gone that well for them, but you know they, they could pull it out of the bag whenever they want. Um, you look at what they did in the autumn. They beat Australia, who, who went on to beat us. Um, they could have easily won that World Cup final as well um, when everyone wrote them off. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be a massive, massive game. Um, you know they'll want to turn us over at Twickenham um, in front of a full house, um, but you know we'll just focus on our game, what we need to do to get that win, and, and, and enjoy the atmosphere that the Twickenham crowd will give us. Yes, and mentioning that Twickenham atmosphere, finally, Stuart mentioned that uh, a five o'clock kickoff gives time to pe- gives time for people to get in the mood, as he put it. Um, <laughs> uh, so you know they're going to be enjoying the match day. What part of the match day experience do you enjoy the most? Um, what as a player? Um, definitely when you run out, um, you soak it all up, soak up the atmosphere. Um, Sort of when you're warming up, um, there's, it's not full, um, so you just sort of concentrate on on warming up well. Um, but when you run out just just before kick off, that's when you really, when when it really hits you, the crowd and the atmosphere at Twickenham, um, you know, with, with the fireworks going off and things like that. Yeah, and, w- and once the game kicks off, you know, you're just focused on your job then, and, and try not to to worry too much about external things. But that run out is definitely um, something to 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 remember when you finish rugby.